Okay, old goats. I got this box in the mail today. Uh, well, not in the mail, but it got delivered today. And I'm kind of excited to see what it is. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But Shannon says she got me a Christmas present. So we're going to assume that that's what it is. I hope it's a tripod. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I broke my tripod. I broke it probably a month after I got it. I was going in the backyard carrying a tripod and the wind blew and blew the, the uh, gate door closed and right on the legs of the tripod. So my tripod legs are broke. <laughs> so I really need a new tripod. So we're gonna hope that that's what this is. And I'm gonna say judging by the box, I have no clue. But it came from Lexington, Kentucky. Travel all the way here from there and it just has my address. And I didn't order nothing. We're gonna assume it's Christmas. Even though it's not Christmas, it's two weeks after Christmas, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And we used a uh, screwdriver to open the box up. It's, that's how we roll. Oh look, it's Oh, 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 it's a Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to me. Oh, oh it's so fun. Oh, but that cat's going crazy. All right, we got a box inside of a box. And let's see, it says Rangers Convenient Tripod. Oops. Yeah. And it's got a nice little pretty picture of the tripod. Nice little pretty picture. So we're going to open her up and we're going to try to see what color it is. This color is important for a trap. Really. I'm, just, I'm just messing. So a nice pretty little case. It says Rangers. I'll have to find the link for this and put it down in the description. Uh, shoulder strap. You can, you, you can carry it around. I'll probably have to adjust that. This is a little bit heavier than my uh, my old tripod, but which I'm good, I'm glad about that. Because every with every tripod you look at it always says lightweight, and then you're like, ah, lightweight means junk. This one is not. It feels a lot heavier. Now, I'm not sure what this is. So you can put it on your belt. Then you can put stuff in it. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, not sure what I use that for at this point in time, but we'll figure something out. We can always figure something out. And let's see what else we got. We got we got stuff falling everywhere. The gel pack. Oh, don't need those. Those are bad for you. That's <laughs> got a. Well, yeah, I'm sure you can put it in your knuckles. And, nah, you can't do that. That's that's bad. That's just bad. Ooh, this thing feels so nice and sturdy. Oh, it feels thick and it feels sturdy. So we're gonna open her up here. We're gonna look. And we're gonna go. Oh, it's got uh, a couple of Allen wrenches with it and a nice little book. And then, oops, wait a minute, here we got something else on here. I'm not sure what this is either. Some sort of a bag. What is that? It's got a bag. Oh, a little small little pouch with it. I guess we can put stuff in there too. Well, that's kind of cool. Again, not sure what it's for, but maybe the instructions will tell us. Anyway, tripod right here. Uh, it appears as though it's upside down. No, it's not. I'm just playing. You're going to twist it around here. There you go. Now it's right side up. And now it locks. See, those legs kind of lock now. That it's, so I would imagine 
you hit one of these buttons and that allows you to put it on up. So once it gets down there, it locks, boom. Nice, pretty, looks really solid, feels really solid. Loving it already. The adjustable legs, they feel a lot more solid than that old one. We're gonna go ahead and put the legs all the way out because I think this thing's supposed to be five foot. Which, I don't know, that should be at least as tall as me sitting down. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's got a nice wide stance on it. Ooh, I must have missed something on one leg. Oh, I did, I missed the last one on that leg. Nice, solid stance on it. And look at that, it is almost just as tall as me sitting down. So. It's five foot, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, what else we got? We got this, uh, well this is, hey, that's kind of cool. You can put it down to about four. Of course you can go lower and just put the legs in. But I mean, look at, look at that stance on this. I mean that, I, I can't even get that stance in the shot. That is a nice solid stance. That is, I mean that's gonna be sturdy. The wind can blow on this. Not really going to want to blow over. So we're going to put this up like it was. And then this top piece here, well, it's going to go up even higher. Actually, that's probably closer to five foot. The top up there. That's probably closer to five, because if I stand up, that should be about shoulder length, I think. Anyway, we're gonna put that back down so you guys can see it again. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and put it down even further. That way it's a little more in the shot. There we go, right there. That's good enough. So, we got some knobs up here. Three hole, or well, three knobs that I'm not sure what they do. This one, does that seriously rotate? Nope. Okay, that loosens up so you can rotate. Now it's nice and neat. You got your camera up here. And you rotate. So we'll tighten that back down, I think. Nope, that's not the, that's not what that does. That does not rotate. Well, what's this one do? I have no clue what that one does. Is that, is that for the ball? No, that's not for the ball. Huh. I'm not sure I'll have to read on that one. This one over here, here again, I don't know what that does either. That might be for the ball. I don't know. The ball did seem like it was easier than golf. That's for the ball. That's definitely for the ball. That ball is tight, hard to remove now. I don't have it tightened all the way. This one down here, whoops. That's gonna be for the rotation so if you want to lock her in that's the bottom one but if you want and, and even when loosened up it does not rotate quick and easy okay and that's that's pretty much loosened all the way up I mean that, that thing's ready to come out of there but look at that nice nice gliding type movement that is ooh, I like that I like that. All right, so we got one, whoops, I tightened it too much. One more thing to do, and that's this thing. And this is the whole reason for it. Of course, you got your level up here, which, I don't know, that says it's level. This is the whole reason to get this. Quick release uh, plate. You put this in the bottom of your camera. You just put it up in there, twist it on your camera, bada bing, bada boom, don't have to take it off. Put it on the camera, leave it on the camera, put your camera in your bag, put your camera wherever you want to put it. Whenever you're ready to put your camera on the tripod, pick your camera up, put your camera on the tripod, tighten her down, Bada bing, bada boom. You're 
Your camera's on your tripod. You don't have to sit there and go and twist and twist and try to get your finger up underneath there and twist. That's not what you want to do. You want to put that right on your camera. That way, when it's time to put it on the tripod, bang, tighten her down, done, on the camera, right there. You're dealing with your knob out here, not dealing with the knob underneath here. Uh, I also got another idea for this. We're going to try to figure out how to get this into the hot shoe. Yeah, I'm going to call it a hot shoe. We're going to try to figure out how to get something like this up in there. That way we can put it on a, on a track. In my seal. And then it'll be suspended by the ceiling. And then we can just move it to where we want to move it. Down here in my room. But that's not today. Today is tripod. So we're going to put that back on there fairly tight. And we do want to know what this really is. Oh, I'm not really sure. If, well, it does seem to loosen it up, too. It does. It seems like both of these loosen that up a little bit. Yeah, I think they're both for the ball. So that way you can loosen her up. Get her tightened in. Tighten down. Tighten down. And boom. Nice sturdy won't move on you. So I'm excited. This thing's gonna save me at least two minutes each time I do a video. Because I gotta take my camera off to charge it or pull the battery out. And I gotta take it out to, well, I don't have to. I carry, I carry it around to take it upstairs and pull the video off of it. But it's a lot easier just to, boom, camera's off and ready to go. Now I can take it upstairs, pull the video off of it, take the battery out quick, throw it on the charger, and everything's all hunky-dory, happy-go-lucky. This thing does seem really, really solid. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I'm gonna love this. This, wow. Wow. That's solid. That other thing is junk. Compared to this, the other thing is junk. Of course, the other thing is junk because I broke the legs on it. But whatever. That's my Christmas present from Shannon. I'm excited about this. I'm gonna have a blast with this. I'm not even going to tighten down the swivel. I'm just going to let it slip because it, it glides so easily and so smoothly. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm not. We'll put a link for this down in the description below. Check it out if you need a tripod that is really sturdy. This thing appears really, really solid. I like the case. But I got to read some stuff now. We'll catch up with you guys later. Maybe. Bye. Okay, guys, we're just going to show you how easily this, this thing pans. I mean, this is just my finger on it, just barely pushing it. I gotta use a different finger now to push it even further, but I mean, that's it gliding. It's just gliding along, and I think that's loosened up almost all the way. Yeah, that's loosened up almost all the way. And that's just st set steady, solid pressure on it.